Okay, so what I'm going to show you here is one of the easiest ways to do mouth animation for dialogue. Uh, not the greatest effect, but it is incredibly easy and incredibly quick. So I guess it's worth knowing uh, just for one more method. But uh, anyway, let's begin. What we have here is a photo of Ron Paul pulled off the web, and we have it open here in Photoshop. And first thing we have to do is create a separate layer for the mouth, so we have something to move. Real easy, we'll just zoom in and do a real crude, crude job here just so you can follow along, understand the basic idea. But what I'll do is I'll simply select the bottom part of his mouth right here over his teeth, and then just down to his chin, and just like so. Now we've selected this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to control copy it so it's onto my clipboard. And then what I'm going to do is shrink the selection down a little bit, holding Alt, and then what I'll do is I'll simply cut the selection down a little bit smaller than the piece we just copied, like so. Now fill in this spot with a dark color. And finally, paste the mouth right back on top of it. And then we can line it up like so. And we can zoom out and see how this looks. And so now, very simply, we have the two layers. The bottom layer is the photo, the top layer, the mouth. And now we can move the mouth up and down and give the illusion of talking. Not the greatest effect, but again, pretty easy to do. Now what we're going to need is a piece of dialogue to actually animate. Now to do this, I uh, use those robot voices, and I get these off of a website here by AT&T. The voice I use for uh, Ron Paul is Mike, but you see they have a few different voices here. Uh, Rich, I think, is Obama. Uh, Reiner, I think, is Bernanke. Uh, you can have some fun with that, but um, right now we'll just use Mike and just type in a little piece of text and then hit speak. Hello, I am Ron Paul and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Just that easy. You can save this. This is actually just a WAV file. And once you've saved this, you're pretty much ready to go. All you're going to need is a WAV file and the image to animate. So we'll move here over into Adobe After Effects. And what I have here is a composition We've got the, photo, uh, the file from Photoshop uh, imported with editable layer styles. What this means is I have each layer here just like I did in Photoshop. And so, of course, we can move the mouth just like we did before. And right on top of there, I've laid the uh, WAV file. Preview it. Hello, I am Ron Paul, and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. That's pretty much what we want. We just need the, move to, uh, the, the mouth to move. So I'll show you the very uh, easiest way i found to do it. Uh, all you have to do is go up here to Animation, Keyframe Assistant, Convert Audio to Keyframes. This is a really cool feature. It can be used for a whole lot of different things. But if we toggle this down, Effects, Both Channels, here we, you see Slider, you'll see we have a whole bunch of keyframes now and each one of these has a value corresponding to the volume of the wave file. So right here in the wave file, we're at a 12.65. Over here, it goes down to a 9.27, and up to a 16, and so on and so on. And so basically, all we're going to do is make it so that the louder the wave file is, the lower the mouth will go. And that'll give the illusion of talking with a very little bit of work. So I'm going to go over here to my mouth layer. I'm going to hit P to bring up the position value, and you'll see we've lined it up at 276 and 234. But those numbers are going to change depending on the size of your comp and the size of your image. It doesn't really matter what they are as long as you get a basic idea of how this works. With position highlighted, I'm going to go up to animation, add expression. Now expressions are incredibly cool and incredibly powerful. This allows us to use math to animate as opposed to having to go and set keyframe by keyframe which is incredibly time consuming. Uh, now that I've hit position, I've added my expression. I'm going to grab this little guy here, which is the pick whip. I'm going to drag him up to the slider. And then you've now associated the position of the mouth to the audio amplitude layer, the slider. 
you get this equation in there, I'm going to hit down, and you'll see here it has temp comma temp. That's the x and y value. Now we want the x value to remain the same. In other words, left and right, it stays right where it is. So we're going to put 276 in there because our x value is 276. That will probably be different on your comp, but it doesn't matter as long as the two numbers are the same. Over here, we're going to put 234, that's our y value, plus parentheses temp, which is basically this value here, whatever the slider value is, is the temp value down here in our equation, times, with an asterisk, 0.5 and close parens, and there's our equation. Y value plus parens temp times 0.5 and parens. Easy enough. And the result here is that as the volume goes up, the mouth goes down. And there, as you can see, you get the illusion that he's talking. Let me go ahead and do a RAM preview. You'll be able to hear it with the sound. Hello. I am Ron Paul, and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Hello. I am Ron Paul, and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Just that easy. Uh, obviously, you don't have to use 0.5. For example, we could use 5 instead. The problem is, of course, the mouth is now going to move too much. It looks silly. It's going down too far. Likewise, instead of using 5, we could use, say, 0 0.05, and you have the opposite problem. Now the mouth will only move a little bit. You can't really see that he's moving his mouth at all. So I find that 0.5 is usually about the size you want, but again, that depends entirely on the size of your comp and the size of your image. I'm working here with very small images, basically designed for YouTube, which is only 320 by 240. So if you're working with full-size footage, uh, this will probably change uh, to a higher value, obviously. But there you have the basic idea of how you get Ron Paul to talk. Very, very easy. And what I'll do is I'll put a link over to that AT&T site in the uh, description box, so you can go ahead and create WAV files with robots yourself.